Well, welcome to my light holder lamp review. Want to see how we got it, how to assemble these correctly, and what features they've got, like those two USB light sockets, then keep on watching. Well, welcome to my light holder lamp review. We purchased these lamps from Amazon. They come as a pair, yours for around about $65. There's quite a lot to like about them, but I'm gonna, let me get them out of the packaging. There's a little bit of self-assembly required, so I'm gonna do that in this video. They do come complete with two Edison bulbs and some quite neat features about them. They're not just lights that you turn on and off. So let me ditch the packaging, see what we get for our money. Okay, well with everything out of the packaging, you got two Edison bulbs. Everything is very well packaged, I would say. These are just six watts a piece. Put those to the side for a minute. This is the last thing we need to install. The first thing we need to do with each of these shades is to get one set of the rings. The small one goes in the top, the big one goes in the bottom, and they clip on. I shall show you those in just a second. But the lights themselves look fairly impressive. There was just a slight mark on the bottom of this one, which should polish out. But the one thing I would say is the chrome does highlight any fingerprints on there. Speaking of which, these lamps are touch sensitive, so you'll be able to dim it up and down, but they do come with a built-in on-off switch here and a fairly decent length of cable. I would say that's about five, maybe even six foot long and a fairly comprehensive set of instructions. Now, when it comes to assembling the shades, I've already got one on and I had done a little bit of video as to how I put that one together, but I thought I could improve upon the technique. It's got Velcro holding the thing together at the sides, pull that apart, then the wire loop simply clips into these plastic clips here. Hopefully my hand's not getting in the way too much. Now, ideally you don't want that Velcro to close over itself. Turn it upside down, but it is gonna catch on that. But the reason for that will become apparent in a second because the first time I was doing it with the Velcro closed on there, it gets to the point where this is too tight to continue clipping it on which proves not to be the case this time. At this point, open it back up again because you do not want that piece of white showing on there. Pull it over as far as you can with that leveled up. Push that down and that's ready to go on the lamp. And at this point you will notice it comes with two USB ports so it's ideal for charging your phone or running your laptop on here. To fix the shade down, you're simply gonna screw this black piece of plastic on here after you've put the shade on. Spin that down nice and tight. Screw our Edison bulb in. And let me power the light up. Now I would just point out, being touch dimmable, if you turn them on or you think you've turned them on and nothing happens, chances are you're gonna need to power it up. In which case, it should definitely start to work. How much light do they produce? That's the two of them in my kitchen, which is not at all bad, I have to say. This looks very, very classy indeed with the, light, did the dark rim around the top and the bottom of the lamp. In fact, with the lights down, they're looking very nice indeed with the crystal and the chrome really coming to life on there. Now for the dimming action. One, two, three, four. So we've got three different settings there for the brightness. Low is quite nice mood lighting. Step it up a couple of places and that's more than enough to read by as it is a bedside lamp. Now while it's touch sensitive, these bits of metal don't do anything, but the bottom one I found here does. Well, anyway, that concludes my light holder light review. Are they worth $65 for a pair? I would definitely say so, particularly when they are turned on. They look extremely classy indeed, and they do look a lot like they cost a lot more than 65 bucks. Anyway, oh, anyway, if you bought a pair of these and were struggling to assemble that top shade, now you know exactly how to do it. Many thanks for watching. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.